Hey boys, what is up? Welcome back to some more Titans career mode. And we are still in the nines. Uh, this is actually into the finals. So we are taking on the Brisbane Broncos. So an all Queensland affair. So hopefully we can get a win. But as a look at our team, it's a pretty it's a pretty strong side. Uh, we picked pretty much picked a full strength team for the finals. Um, we do have Johnny two of our check on the bench, but yeah, we started with the big guns, and Hoffman almost gets his way over, steps one, barges his way over, but a good tackle to hold him up. But then right here, a beautiful little inside pass, Ryan James shrugs off the the last defender there, and an easy try to open proceedings. I think it was Mark Ione. just a nice bit of play between the forwards right there, and easy gaps, easy gaps, and we open the game pretty strongly as Ayn Caesar makes no mistake of that first kick as we look to you know this is why I love the nines it's just it gives you freedom to just throw the ball around there's no you know if you make mistakes it's not a big deal um, usually anyway but yeah we are gonna open them up again here Josh Hoffman through the gap throws the ball back but unfortunately Matty Sharma got it batted down and then Hoffman <laughs> made the initial break comes up with a massive try saver and that's that's what he did last season as well and he's He's carried it into this season pretty well, just the, uh, just the second efforts. But halftime, we uh, only have a six-nil lead, so we're not uh, we're not set in stone to win this game yet. But we start the second half off pretty strongly, and right here we get a good opportunity. Josh Hoffman finds himself on the wing. I, you know, with the interchanges, I, I think I actually um, switched Hoffman to the wing. Um, I just moved. I think I put one of the halves on the bench. Um, and pretty much, yeah, I think I know what I, I think I put LG onto the bench for two of Arshashek and just put Hoffman to where LG, uh, was, was on the field because it, yeah, it just works better because you have more backs and backs are more powerful in this mode, really. That's pretty much all there is to it, but yeah, we are. So 12-0 and it's soon to be 18-0 as James Roberts cuts back on the inside and too much pace. The Broncos defense just was not set up properly and you just can't give James Roberts that, that much room to move as he just streaks away. No one was catching. Darius Boyd looks like he's making a bit of ground but all in vain as actually it's going to be 19-0 with the bonus try. So this game, this game is pretty much, pretty much done and dusted as it's almost full time. Never in danger of losing. Solid game. And to keep the Broncos to, to nil, uh, pretty good effort, i got to say. Like, I'm I'm happy to get 19 points, but to, to keep a side out of the game to, to nothing is, is a pretty good effort, in my opinion. Because, you know, on the hardest difficulty, it's hard to stop tries. But also, also in the nines, there's so much room for the, for the AI to throw the ball around. But as you see, the boys, they're happy. They're happy. They're... They're off a high with the the grand final win, and they're they're wanting to back it up. They're wanting to back it up with the with the nines victory as well. So we are going to do two uh, two games this video, and we're taking on the Bulldogs in the second round of the final. So I'm pretty sure this is the game to get into the grand final. I think it's a bit weird how they word it. I mean, round two of the finals, it's a bit strange, but I think if we lose this, we're out. So uh, big game, another big game. I don't know who would be versing in the finals, but or the grand final, but obviously going to be tough as James Roberts on the wing, almost straight through, but a good tackle there, and holds him up. But then right here, Ryan James, open try line, but he was running, he was running on an angle, so he had no no momentum over the line. Last tackle, they all race up way too fast as James Roberts puts in a little kick, and you know uh, another good defensive set. As you see, seven minutes gone and. It's been pretty back and forth. We definitely have had better of the field position, but just have struggled to get over the line as of as of late. But right here, Hoffman out to Aoni. It was a poor read by the, the Bulldogs play there. He raced up and got... He didn't get the ball. He didn't get the player. I don't know what he was doing. Uh, and then Aoni with a beautiful little swerve to, to beat the fullback coming across. And Aoni, like he was, a, he was a signing for us from the Dragons, obviously, and... He's already proved to be pretty effective, and I'm, I'm happy to have him in the side. It's almost half time here, and we get a good opportunity to spread it out, but well read there by the Bulldogs player to come up and cut that ball off. And that is going to be half time. So 6 0, 6 0 at half time once again. So uh, pretty reminiscent of the last game. As we 
Uh, Shirama finds himself in a bit of a break, and for some reason I put in a little grubber. Uh, it wasn't the best kick, but it worked out all right. As the Bulldogs here, one on two, gives it off to, I think it might be Hodginson. He just drops the ball cold. Could have been a, a try the other way. It was good play by the Bulldogs, but they just blow it at the end there. And they do give away a penalty on the back of that. So we are actually going to take the uh, shot for goal. And for some reason, uh, it's got Roberts uh, kicking. Actually, is it Roberts? No, it's Caesar. I don't know. I just I just saw the number four, and I'm like, oh, it must be must be Roberts. But it was it was Caesar. Um, but off that kickoff, we pretty much did short cook, uh, kickoffs all through this uh, ninth tournament, and this one is not going to pay off as Kane Brennan actually comes up with a try. But it was great work by I don't know who it was, but he got above the pack and caught it, and then he got a beautiful offload away. Good work here. I don't know who it is. Number five. He got a great offload away and nothing we could really do. Um, but yeah, I've pretty much done short kickoffs all through the nines because, you know, I, I just find it. That's sort of what you do at the nines. I don't do it during the game too much or during the NRL season, but the nines I always do it. And right here though, James Roberts, it was a terrible kick chase by the, the Bulldogs as we hit straight back there. It was just a terrible kick chase and James Roberts just swerves in and out of players. It was a a staggered defensive line and that is just like the last, very reminiscent of the last game. We got a we got a 6-0 lead at half time and then James Roberts cuts it open in the second half to extend the lead. And then right here, <laughs> I I remember playing this. I remember that happening. I didn't know, I couldn't control Gagai. For some reason, I kept like um, swerving to the uh, to the touch line and eventually I just got tackled out. I couldn't I couldn't straighten up. I just couldn't run straight for some reason. But as you see the boys very excited once again. They're into the big game, I think it is. 15-6 win. It was a comfortable win. James Roberts man the match. Had a very good game. And yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed this episode and I will see you next time.